Wake up. Corey Allen X here. This is a video response to B. Scott's Walk in Your Truth and Step Out on Faith video. It's been a while since I've made one for my own subscribers, and I have not gone to uh, B. Scott's page before, but B. Scott, uh, from my home to yours, salutations, love, peace, harmony, all of those wonderful things. I just want to take a moment to respond to the video that I saw that uh, you, you made there. And I, I just wanted to say that I, I believe firmly in the power of positivity, in the power of naming and claiming your destiny, and also in speaking your truth living your truth being your truth and having the courage and the fortitude and the audacity to dream bigger bolder brighter than you ever thought possible I have a, a unique opportunity uh, I'm at work with a lot of younger students at the University of Illinois and one of the things that I see that really saddens me that I've talked about extensively on other videos of mine is the fact that so many of our young people are afraid to dream and not only our young people but so many of our grown folk are afraid to dream are afraid to try something new are afraid to say you know what that's who I was back then, but I am going to make a new, a new start, a new beginning. I am in control of me. I am the master, the author, the pilot, the driver of my destiny. I think all too often we forget that we have more power and more strength and more life force than we give ourselves credit for. I see so many people who are bogged down by the mistakes that they made yesterday. So as a type of coda to what you were saying about needing to understand that tomorrow isn't promised to you. That next year and that next week, that the next hour isn't promised to you. I think that we also have to remember that yesterday is done. What happened yesterday, you no longer have control over. You can't go back and you can't fix it. You can't tweak it. It can't get worse than it was. And it also can't get better. You have today, and today only, to live the way that you want to live, to be the person that you want to be, and to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. I think so often we get caught up in these ruts, these cycles. And oftentimes we're in those cycles so that we can learn something, so that we can get something. But I want to leave you your viewers and my viewers with a little extra nugget. You provided a great, a great start to it. But I think that if you do what you've always done, you will get what you've always gotten. If you refuse to evolve, to change, to continue, to learn, to figure out new things about yourself, about the people around you, about the world that you're in, and you want to live in yesterday, or in some cases ten years ago, you'll never be able to see what's on the other side of that mountain. You'll never be able to see that. You'll never know what it means 
or the joy that you could possibly gain by talking to someone that you've never spoke to before. Interacting with the type of person that you normally wouldn't interact with. We all have stories. We all have dreams. We all have paths that we're on. We can learn from each other. We can share with one another. So, yes. Dream, dream, dream. They used to say the sky is the limit. But now we know that that's not true. Because we've got rovers in Mars. We've got space stations floating around. The sky is no longer the limit. You are the limit. Dream outside of boundaries of time and space. And we can see things happen in a way, in a time, in a place that we've never dreamed of before. And so I just wanted to send you a shout out. I wanted to send you a thank you for your uplifting, powerful message. I wish you continued success. Uh, and uh, I just want to let you know that I appreciate you. A constant battle to stay ahead of the game. Is anybody famous? When everybody wants fame. Always trying to break you down. Thinking that it'll raise them up I just wanna be happy Come take this bitter cup from me